Alright. Lamont Peterson versus Amir Khan. King Khan, excuse me. He likes to be called King Khan. Um, I think it's going to be a good competitive fight. We're going to get some answers out of this fight. Amir Khan. Let me, let me say this. Amir Khan is so busy. This is what I'm like. This is what I can't stand that he does. He's so busy worried about other fighters when he's already signed to fight fighters. He signed to fight Lamont Peterson. But he's calling out every interview I've seen for his last 20 interviews. Since he's been signing this dude, he's talking about Floyd Mayweather. I want to I wanna fight Floyd Mayweather. He promised me. They promised me. Uh, I won't be calling him out if I couldn't be. Uh, stop worrying about Floyd. You need to be worried about this dude right here. Because last time I checked, ain't nobody ever just ran through Lamont Peterson. He always comes He always comes to fight. Always. His Lamont Peterson Achilles heel is he has no power. He has winky right power. He's a solid fighter. He fights good on the inside, and he goes to the body like you should go to the body. But if he had that power, that like I like he should, or like you know, I wish he had, he could be at the top of this division. But he don't have that type of power to get to that next level. So he's gonna always he's he's gonna always be on the level that he is now, you know. And which is sad because he's a solid fighter, and I do like Lamont Peterson, um, and I like Anthony Peterson. Amir Khan has the has he's very he has the tools to be a good good boxer. He's too one dimensional and he's green. And what I mean by one dimensional and he he, he can't make adjustments properly. And when he fought Madonna, okay, it, Amir Khan goes to the body, but he don't go to the body enough. When he fought Madonna, he went to the body and it was a nice body shot. He didn't know. He didn't think to himself, okay, let me just keep going to this dude's body. I hit him in the body and he dropped. He's still here, hunting. That's, that's how you know great fighters when they can when they can they can uh, see what's going on in the ring and they can capitalize on it. He doesn't he doesn't he doesn't do that at all. He don't tie he can't tie up right. He can't fight on the inside. All he has is that jab. He has a he has a fast. He's got fast hands. He got really fast hands. That's why that's that's gonna be, that's gonna cause problems for Lamont Peterson if it stays a boxing match. You know, but he has very fast hands, but he does the same shit Manny Pacquiao does. He'll throw a jab, 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 and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, he'll come run, run, running in with about three or four punches. Ah! Now he's not yelling it. Then he takes his, his arms, his elbows, and he leans on top of his opponent's back of their neck and pushes him down because he's out of position. You know? People need to still stop talking about the Prescott fight with him getting knocked out. I mean, come on, man. Anybody can be knocked out. You, it's 2011, about to be 2012, and you guys still own that shit. Anybody can be dropped. Everybody said he got a glass jaw. I didn't see him fight Madonna and got caught with some shit, and he didn't drop. Yeah, he got hurt because he don't know. And then he could have beat Madonna had he kept going to the body. He could have knocked him. I mean, not beat him. He could have knocked him. He could have stopped him. But he, he's, he's, he's green. I don't think he'll ever be able to uh, recognize that kind of shit, you know. But you got to be able to see that shit. Your spider sense has got to be tingling when, when you see shit. You got to have that feeling like, damn, I just heard him. I seen that. He don't do that. Um, and he's worried about Floyd Mayweather, man. Get in line. Everybody want to fight Money Mayweather. Long is going around the corner. Alvarez wants to fight him. Uh, Robert Guerrero is now calling him out. Uh, you calling him out. You know, everybody want to be in, you know. You know the saying. Fight Pacquiao. Call them. I mean, but he's not even on that, that level, man. He's not on, a, on that level. And I don't think Freddie Roach, since they trains both of them, are going to let that even happen. Um, Oscar De La Hoya, he always jumps. He always jumps on the tip. Every time some fighter come, you know, oh, well, he's right behind. He's good. He's just as good. You know, he's right behind. He ain't. No, he green. He got, he got, he got a couple of years. Lamont Peterson is a solid fighter. Like I said, man, if he had that popping power, man, he could do some damage. He could beat, the, he, he probably could beat uh, Amir Khan if he had power because he worked that body. He'll take all that, that 
that uh, quick hand shit out of him. At fifth round, he'd be <laughs> looking stupid, like Madonna. Lamont Peterson's a good boxer. He got a decent jab, but I ain't going to sit here and be stupid and, and naive, man. Americana going to beat Lamont Peterson. I'm going to keep it at that. <coughs> um, he, he, need to, he need to build up his, his resume, his portfolio. And I think we're going to get some answers this fight because Lamont Peterson is a, is a pretty good fighter. And because Amir Khan is always uh, looking past his opponents, this is Lamont Peterson's opportunity to take advantage of that. Because he's worried about Floyd. He, right here. He's looking at Floyd. He's looking at a poster of Floyd. He want to fight Floyd. He want to fight Floyd Mayweather. Right now, he thinking about Floyd. You better worry about Lamont Peterson. <laughs> That's just my take on this fight, man. I got Amir Khan unanimous. Uh, if it's if it if it's a split decision, I'll be shocked. Ain't nobody getting knocked out in this fight. I think uh, Lamont Peterson is meant to, is, is tough. He's a, he's a, he he'll get up. And I think uh, he ain't got enough power to really do some to knock out Amir Khan. I just I just be real. So you know Amir Khan. <laughs>